living on your own is fun and all until you're expecting guests, no one to share the cleaning duties with. That's when knowing useful hacks comes in handy. And I've prepared a lot of them for you. You'll be done with all the tedious tasks before you know it. Let's start with the living room, shall we? But before you begin, I recommend you make a cleaning playlist. Singing your heart out and dancing to the beat of the music in between sweeping the floors will definitely make things more fun. Once your speakers are blasting with your favorite songs, it's time to get some real work done. First things first, I'm sure you have at least one or two dirty mugs lying around. Come on, don't be embarrassed, we're all guilty of that. So start by putting away those and anything else that doesn't belong in the living room. That will give you a clear space to work with. Once the decluttering is done, it's time to vacuum the floors. But how about the nooks and crannies of the room? Yeah, your vacuum cleaner may come with all kinds of attachments. Yet there are some spaces so small and tight that it's extremely tricky to get to, even with those. That's why you should use a paper towel roll. You can squeeze a paper towel roll onto the end of the hose of most vacuum cleaners. Then you can reshape the other end to fit any number of spaces, such as window tracks, sliding door tracks, and chair rail moldings. So next time, don't just throw those into the recycling bin immediately. The floors and the carpets are finally dust-free. But while you're at it, how about we get rid of all the furniture dents on the carpets and bring them back to their glory? Just cleaning is not enough, you know? We need to make the place look Pinterest-worthy, too. Anyway, to do that, you don't need to buy any carpet cleaning tools. Instead, what you need are ice cubes. Depending on the size of the furniture footprint, place a few of them on there and leave them to melt overnight. You'll see that in the morning, it's most likely that there'll be no sign left of them. But if you're still able to recognize the dent, try fluffing the carpet with the help of a fork or a credit card. However, before using this trick, make sure your carpet and the material it's made of can handle a few small puddles of water. You wouldn't want to ruin things altogether. Ice cubes are also the answer if you have any gum stuck on your sofa or clothes. Place one or two ice cubes on top of the gum and let it sit until it feels frozen. Then grab a butter knife and gently peel it away without leaving any sticky residue. This next one is for the pet owners out there. Hope you're already wearing rubber gloves to protect your skin when cleaning. If you do, then you can use those to remove pet hair and lint from your sofa. There are two ways to do that. Wearing your latex gloves, either rub your hands all over your upholstery or dampen them and run your hand over the surface of your sofa. Now that you know this, you can let your dog jump on there freely. Now let's head to the kitchen and finish washing that pile of dirty dishes in the sink. Seems like they've been there for quite some time, so it's going to take some muscle power to rub all the grease and dirt from there. Well, not with this hack. Don't toss the coffee grounds into the garbage after you're done with your morning brew. They actually work as gentle abrasives, which makes them perfect for scrubbing pots and pans without scratching them. Another thing you can use for the same purpose is mesh net produce bags. You can make your own scrubber just by tying a few of them together. Kiss goodbye those germs and old sponges. Not literally though, because that would be gross. After the dishes are done, it's time to clean the sink itself. I have just the thing to make that so much easier for you. This electric cleaning brush from Amazon is all about efficiency. It includes four interchangeable heads that'll not only make the sink, but the whole kitchen shiny and new. The small flat head is perfect to get rid of hard water stains within and around the sink. The large one is great for stovetop elements, and you can reach the internal corners of the microwave with the cone-shaped one. What makes it even more distinct from other electric brushes is that it has a pulse function that is for areas with stubborn dirt or grime, so your arms won't need to feel sore after the cleaning is done. The kitchen looks perfect now, time to take care of the bathroom. Uh-oh, the toilet is clogged. Don't call the plumber just yet. Dish soap and hot water are all you need. You might want the water to be extremely hot, but not boiling, since that might crack the toilet bowl. This hack is not for making things worse, you know. Pour at least half a cup of dish soap into the toilet bowl and let it sit for a while. As for the last step, 
pour a gallon of hot water into the toilet bowl carefully and wait around 15 minutes for the magic to work. The dish soap helps to dissolve and break up whatever's clogging the toilet. Since you're already taking care of the toilet, how about making sure that it's not leaking? A silent, slow leak will cause massive amounts of water to escape your home each month, which could be costly. What you need to detect it if it's leaking in any way or not can actually be found in your kitchen. I'm talking about food coloring. Just lift the lid off your toilet tank and add a few drops of dye into the water. After 15 minutes, come back and check if any colored water has seeped from the tank to the bowl. On to brushing the bathtub and the walls. And you know what? This here sponge brush will help you keep your hands clean while scrubbing the surfaces. Its ergonomic and non-slip handle will give you a secure and comfortable feeling when gripping as well. And the best part is, the brush is washable and reusable, so it's good for your wallet too. Your dirty laundry bag there caught my eye, especially the t-shirt on top of that mountain of dirty clothes. It has some grease stains on it. Those are known to be one of the toughest to get rid of. But I have just a hack for you. Try pre-treating the stain with chalk before washing it. You know how weightlifters and gymnasts use chalk powder to keep their sweaty hands dry? It's the same principle. The ultra-absorbent chalk powder will help you get rid of any oil splatter, as well as lipstick marks. However, make sure to use plain old white blackboard chalk, rather than the ones that contain any wax or coloring. And this will work best if you treat the oily spots immediately after the stain occurs. Once the laundry is washed and dried, it's time to put all your clothes back into your closet. Oh, you just leave them on the chair because the closet is smelly? I've got you covered. What you need to solve that is a jar, a bag of rice, and your favorite blend of essential oils. Pour one to two cups of rice inside the jar. Add 10 to 20 drops of the essential oils. Cover the top of the jar with a breathable fabric and secure it with a rubber band. Then, shake the jar to evenly distribute the oils. Your DIY odor trapper is ready, and it should be good for at least four to six months, depending on the amount of moisture in the closet or any small room you put it in. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.